Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Dynamics. I hope you saw the installation video of Salome. Now we will start with making a very simple geometry and a mesh for a lid driven cavity case in this video. So once you launch your Salome application, this is what you will be able to see. So first click this and go to geometry. And this will open the geometry tab or geometry window of the software. So once you open the geometry tab, this is what you will be able to see. So for our case, we are going to make a cuboid because in a lid driven cavity case, you have a cuboid and then you will be moving the top face. You will be dragging it towards one direction so that there will be recirculation regions formed inside the box. We are not going to see the results, but we are interested in making the mesh and uh, just initially starting the uh, open foam run at least. So if the solver is working fine, then we are good with the mesh. We are just going to see how to make the geometry, name the surfaces, do the mesh and import inside open foam so that open foam can understand the mesh. So for that, we need a cuboid and uh, we are just going to make that cuboid. But before that, let's click on this button interaction style switch. Otherwise, you will not be able to rotate and move. It will be hard. So if you select that, you can use a left mouse button to rotate, middle mouse button to pan and a right mouse button to zoom in and zoom out. OK, so by default, this is what you will be able to see in the geometry tab. So we are going to create a box. I'll create this. There are two options. In the first option, you will just give point 0.1 and point 0.2 from the major diagonals of the cuboid. But for now, I'm going to choose this. And by default, it's a 200 meter cube but we don't need it. So let's go with point 0.1 in the X direction. In the Y direction, let's keep it to point 0.2 and uh, Z direction also, let's keep it to point 0.2. Then after you do that, if you press this button, fit all, you'll be able to see this uh, cuboid. If you want to play with the values, you can do it. So for now, I'm just going to click on apply and close. Now we have a box. So after we create a box, we have to give the named selection. So the naming convention that I am going to follow is from the lid driven cavity case. So I am going to take mm, version 2406 tutorial, but this will just work for any case. We are just looking at machine, not the case setup. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to open U. Um, by default, this front and back will be empty. I just changed it to no slip to be treated as a 3D case. Same for pressure also. This would have been empty, but I changed it to zero gradient to treat front and back as walls. Okay, now we are going to follow this same naming convention, whatever is mentioned here. So if I go here, the top face will be the moving wall because that's what we are going to do in later in cavity. Then this face, this face is going to be front and back. This face, this face, and uh, this face is going to be Fixed walls as they say. Okay, now let's start naming the body. So first click on the box and then right click and click create group. Okay, now first you have to select the volume and uh, maybe select all, then it will select this box because there is just one volume. Otherwise, you can click here and then click add that will also add the volume. So I'm going to call this fluid box. You can name it whatever you want and then click apply. Okay, you can now see that the fluid box is created and it is the type object fluid box module geometry. Okay, and now we have to create the surface names. So I'll click surface, click the top face, and this is going to be moving wall. I'm following the exact name here. If you want, you can copy paste also. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'll click this and then click add. So this surface will be added here. The main shape is box one. So if you want to change that, you can click, but by default, that's what we are going to use. So I'll click here, add, okay. And then just click apply. Now you can see that we have a moving wall and this is a surface now, okay. The second surface is going to be front and back, hold your shift button and then Select so you can select multiple faces and then click add. You should be able to see two surfaces here. Don't worry about the numbers, it's automatic. Now name it front and back. 
and then click apply okay now we have to select the fixed walls so select this hold shift and select all three click add by now you would know what we have to do click apply and close okay now you can see that we have this fixed walls we have this front and back and we have this moving wall so we have named everything so the geometry creation part is done so in future videos i will look into how to make complex geometries within salome and then mesh it but for now this is a good start i believe okay now click this box and select here and go to mesh tab okay now we are in the machine tab go to create a mesh first select the box and click on this button the create mesh button uh, you can keep the names as such so since we are going to use um, salome to make we are going to make tetrahedral mesh if you made mesh in snappy it would have been uh, completely hexahedral but we are going to make tetrahedral because that is what is good in salome okay we will keep it to 3d and the best working algorithm is netgen 1d 2d 3d select that and for the first trial we are not going to change the hypothesis anything here so i'm just going to apply and close okay uh, you can click this button to zoom in okay click this fit all and you'll be able to see okay now the mesh give a warning sign okay so to eradicate that right click and click compute and the machine process is over i'll hide the box as you can see this is the mesh that we have it's a very very coarse mesh not good at all so let's start refining the mesh okay now right click the mesh click edit mesh and uh, let's click on this button it's called add parameters so netgen 3d parameters here instead of moderate let's first try fine mesh okay and don't turn on second order or quad dominated quad dominated doesn't work for open foam so you just keep it optimized and limit size by surface curvature click on ok and apply and close okay now you have to again right click click clear plus compute close now you are able to see that there are definitely more cells now if you want to make it finer which we absolutely have to this is not at all good for a cfd case so when you are changing the parameters you just click the second button so you can edit the same and instead of find let's go to very fine click ok and then apply and close and right click clear plus compute now you can see there is not much difference at all right so now this is where our actual verb comes in you have to select go to parameters and instead of very fine go to custom and we can set the maximum size and minimum size what i'm going to do is i'll go to set the minimum size to 0 0.001 and maximum size to make this 0 0.003 click on ok apply and close right click clear plus compute now it's taking a bit of time which means it's creating more cells so we have to wait for some time for the machine to be done once the machine is done i'll get back to you okay now the machine is done as you can see it's a good mesh now it's finer so what we are going to do is first take a slice and see whether the inner mesh is just as good as the surface mesh so you can right click on the geometry and click clipping then instead of no planes you can select relative if you just uh, click on apply right away you can see the top cells you can hide show plane okay, these are the cells it's good it is fine so and just turn it off okay, now this is the mesh that we have you can see inside mesh you have groups of faces moving wall front and back and fixed walls a group of volume there is just one volume so now it's time to import this into open foam so what we are going to do is click on file export and we are going to export it in a format called unv so before that first you have to select the mesh so this is the mesh and then you can go here and export or you can also right click here export unv file and you have to choose the location where wherever you want to save 
So ideally you want to save it inside the case where you are trying to do the meshing. So I'll choose that location and I'll save it there. So for me, this is the location and I'll click renumber. So this will renumber the entire mesh and then click save. Generally it takes a bit of time again. So you just have to wait. Now it is over. So we can go to the case location. Okay, now you can see that we have the mesh underscore one dot unb. Now let's see how to convert this into open form understandable format. So I will open a terminal here and load my WSL. Then I'll load my open form. So I'm using version 2406. Yeah. Now the command is ideas. Then if you just press tab, you will be able to get this ideas unb to form is the command. Then we have to give the file name so which is mesh underscore one dot unb then just press enter okay, once you do that it will start converting and now it will be a open form understandable format you can see that we have sorting boundary faces first we have fluid box which is a cell zone we have moving wall which is a patch and then we have front and back which is a patch fixed wall is also a patch so we have to change that the moving wall and front and back is a wall. So that is something that we have to do. So I'll minimize this. And if you go inside constant and poly mesh, you can see that there is a boundary file. If you open, you'll be able to see all of that. So for us, all of these are walls. So instead of uh, patch, just change it to wall. Uh, change it for everything. Okay, then save it. There is a easier way to do this using a create patch dict, but this tutorial is towards meshing, so I'm not going inside open foam things. Okay, now we can close this and uh, we have a working mesh. You can go here and just do check mesh hyphen constant. Okay, it is saying the mesh is okay, and we have like around almost a million cells. Okay, now it's time to check whether the case is running or not. Let's type ICO phone. Okay, now we can see that the case is just running fine without any errors, which means open foam is able to read our mesh and it is working fine. So I'll stop the simulation by pressing Ctrl plus C. So if it is over with one time step, then it means the mesh is good and that's what we wanted to see in this case that's it for this tutorial i hope you learned something new if you want anything specific related to open foam or salome please feel free to leave it down in the comment section and i will try to make it soon if you enjoyed the video so far consider dropping a like consider subscribing to the channel if you think this video might be useful for someone please share it to them see you in another video thank you